We have two two for you all to start. Appreciate your patience. Um, we'll get things rolling here with Claudia. Hi, Tutu. How are you? I'm great. And you? How are you? Good. So, throughout your football career, people have said you are too small and you have proved them wrong. Can you tell us how proud are you of what you have accomplished and what you can bring to this team? I'm uh, very proud of myself. Uh, I always let the uh, the outside just talk. Um, that was never on my mind or my focus. I was my focus was to just do what I have to do and and, and make it to the next level. And I um, and I feel I'm proud of myself and I'm here to do big things for this team and hope I can do a lot to help us win. And you could have the opportunity to play with Matthew Stafford, but you could also become a game changing kick or Pound returner, how exciting would it be if that's your role with the Rams? Uh, playing with an elite quarterback like uh, Matt, um, um, just fantastic to play with him, uh, learn a lot from him. Uh, I'm um, also going to play punt return, uh, and it will be a huge, huge um, deal for me, and I'm just going to do the best that I can do. Thank you. Go ahead, Maria. Hey, Tutu, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Can you kind of take us through what it's been like being with the Rams at the complex now for the last few days or a week and just what's it been like for you? Uh, it's been great. Uh, a lot of fun fun, and a lot of good energy around here. Um, everybody's happy. Everybody in a good mood. Uh, practicing well. Practice fun. Very fun. Nothing like it. Never seen nothing like it before. And I'm just happy to be here. My new what, team. Words, what words of wisdom have you heard from Eric Yarber? Excuse me? What words of wisdom have you heard from the receivers coach, Eric Yarber? Uh, just a it, coach uh, is a great coach. Um, he got, he, he brings a lot of good energy on the practice fields, whether it's um, in the morning or afternoon. He always got, he's full of energy. Um, and we just here to work and just learn new plays. Very good. Thank you. Go ahead, Kevin. Hi, Tutu. Uh, now that you have been, uh, around veterans on the field a little bit. Uh, you've seen the NFL from the inside for a, a little while. In what ways do you feel already prepared to play a big role with the Rams? And in what ways uh, do you still have to learn and, and develop in the next few months? Uh, right now, I'm just getting my feet wet and just getting the, the, uh, the speed of the game NFL-wise. Um, just being around the veterans, Cooper Cup and uh, Robert Woods and Deshaun Jackson, just just pretty much still in game and just watching them and asking them questions and how to do this and how to do that. So, I mean, um, it's a lot more to come. Have there been moments where, you know, you're, you're on the practice field, you're around these guys and, you know, something tells you what's different about this level from what you've succeeded at in the past? Uh, just pretty much, I, I pretty much just be myself and uh, just pay attention to the different things that they're doing and what I'm doing. And uh, I, whatever I take from them, I'm just going to use it to my ability and do what I can do best. Mm -hmm. Well, you talked about the speed of the game. Uh, I mean, if it, if it strikes you as uh, really fast, that's saying something. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes. Your, your speed, but it, I mean, is there that sense that that's been a big advantage for you in the past, but maybe not quite as big an advantage now and you need to really work on ways to exploit it? Uh, I just just pretty much, is, like I said, be myself and play a little faster. I mean, it's, it's, it's room for improvement. Um, I feel like when I um, get out there on the first game, I can really tell how the speed is because right now we can't really, you know what I'm saying, you can't really tell right now. I get that. It's early. Well, we'll, we'll check that. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead, Dennis. How you doing, Tutu? How you doing? Doing great. When you talk about playing fast, does that have anything to do with getting more uh, comfortable with the playbook? Um, <clears throat> right now, we have um, – they're just throwing plays at us. We – I mean, step by – not step by step, but um, install by install and um, – it's a, it's a lot to learn, a lot of um, a lot of different ways how I can line up at different positions, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of technology. So, um, I mean, 
it's fast. It's a lot of um, words, and you just gotta just really be in a be in a playbook and just focus on what you have to do, and you will learn it. And how much has um, Robert and Cooper uh, taken you under their wings, and kind of helped you uh, mentor you so far? Um, they haven't helped me with the plays. Um, they have me. I ain't gonna say they haven't helped me with the play. Like we haven't had meetings and stuff like that for them to help me. But on the field, they'll um, teach me and let me know like how to run this route or what this what this route mean in different ways like that to understand it better for me. Uh, last question I wanted to ask you: What was it like for you to see your likeness up at uh, SoFi Stadium? Uh, it was awesome, man. Um, it's a dream come true, and I'm just ready to uh, game. I'm just ready for game time. All right, thank you. No problem. Go ahead, Greg. You're muted, Greg. Hey, Tutu. So, if you're preparing to be a punt returner, what does that involve, and, and how how excited are you about it? it sound like it sounded like it's something you were excited to get started on. Yeah, um, pretty much. Um, I'm excited uh, to the the play on the field and the special team role. Um, punt return won't be a big deal for me. It'll actually help me and be a great spot for the team. Um, and I'm just excited and ready to just, just take over the job and do what I have to do. Speed guys often succeed really well in that in that position, but you didn't get that many chances in college, obviously. So, is it op is it an opportunity for you to, to show your full skill set in a different different setting, like, especially on a team that's as loaded at receiver as the Rams are? Yeah, uh, it'll be a nice uh, skill set for me to just get back there and do what I do best. Um, like you said, in college, I ain't played that much. Uh, we had a great returner in um, college, and um, the coaches the coaches just let it. I was the second screen, so the coaches just let it play out and. They just put who back um that that was back there. So how you liking California so far, man. Appreciate it. Say, say it again. How are you liking California so far? I was just asking if you Oh, it's nice. It's my first time out here, so yeah, right. Really just enjoying the mountains and the view and everything. So it's nice, very nice out here. Nick. Hey Tutu. Uh you mentioned earlier about Robert Woods and Cooper Cup, but you also mentioned Desha Deshaun Jackson. Uh, what have you learned from Design Jackson that has helped you thus far? Uh, I know it's still early. Uh, just be patient with my routes. Um, not just um, – because I come out my routes a little too quick. Uh, it's, it's all about timing. So just you just tell me just be patient and, and uh, everything will come with it. And also, too, recently, first of all, congratulations on graduating. Appreciate um, it. What was that moment like for you, and how big was that that moment and impact for you and your family? Uh, it was a great uh, moment for me and my family. Um, out of all my mom kids, I'm the first one. Uh, I still got two more that's uh, coming behind me. Um, we all on the same road, graduating early. He graduated. My brother, my middle brother, graduated early from high school. I graduated high, uh, early from high school as well, and we just he just set the tone for my little brother. So it feel great. That's awesome. And lastly, for me. Uh, you talked about just the the ambiance of SoFi Stadium, uh, but what were you? What was what was your thoughts leading up to that moment as you were walking through that door, as you were looking around, and did you kind of look for some spots that you felt like be your your, your your sweet spots already? Yeah, man. I, when I walked in, I, I never seen nothing like it. Um, I've been in a lot of different stadiums, and that one right there, just the you could feel it. Like even though it was no fans, but you could feel everything. It was like like wow, but. Overall, I'm just ready to just get in that stadium and just do what I do best. Thank you, Tutu. Congratulations. No problem. Thank you. We'll wrap up with Stu, Gary, and then Doc, please. Hey, Tutu. Uh, this is obviously, you know, you've had the ability to kind of form opinions of all these new receivers, Rams receivers you've, you're now working with from afar. What's maybe one thing you've learned about guys like Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, and Deshaun Jackson? that you didn't know from watching them from a distance before you came here? Uh, like I said before, um, just patience. Uh, they all patient with their routes. Um, they all get in, get in out, they break fast, and they're they some hardworking guys. And that's and that what you want to be around. So they set the tone, and I, and I follow. Thank you. Gary? To, um, Robert Wood said yesterday that, you know, to play in the NFL, you have to have some swagger. And he said, you, you do have that. Um, 
I'm just curious, is that difficult coming into an, an NFL, a new situation, to be able to show that? Or kind of how, how do you approach, you know, really letting your, your personality come out this early? It's a Miami thing, man. <laughs> well, no, uh, I'll just, uh, uh, I just, I just play with a lot of swag. Um, I feel like if you have, a, if you have swag, if you don't have swag, you won't make the game, the game won't be fun, so. And you got to put your own little swag to it and then everything will just come well with it. And then uh, a couple questions about, again, making that jump. Going from college and catching passes from your quarterback there to coming into a situation where you're working with a, vet, a guy like Matthew Stafford, who's been in the league for 12 years. Is, is there anything different? I mean, is it the same? You're just out there running routes, catching passes, or can you already see, you know, a big difference between what you have played with before and what you're going to play with now? Uh, it, um, I won't say it's the same. Uh, just the ball pretty much faster. Um, timing, that's a big thing, timing. Uh, you got to get out, in and out your routes very fast. Um, and I, that's all I can say. Um, I'm just happy and excited to have a great quarterback and to learn from and just to catch balls from. Thanks very much. No problem. We got time for one more here with Doc, please. Hey, Tutu, how are you? This is Doc Holliday, uh, co-host of uh, the Ramblings podcast with Isaac Bruce. I got to tell you now, we do our podcast, and I was on there when they drafted you. I was like, I know Tutu kind of fast. He's going to take care of that outside with Robert Woods and Cooper Cup handling the inside work. But And I was like, I don't know if Tutu really want to go across the middle because they're big grown men. And, and Isaac was like, no, nah, Tutu's from – he's from South Florida. He's not going to have any problems doing that. <laughs> You tell me, man, so I can say something to Isaac that – because I'm saying, you know, Tutu probably just wanted to take the top off the defense, and Isaac was like, no, nah, he's a all. Florida guy, man. He's going to do it all. <laughs> I do it all, man. Um, I mean, a big part of it um, is it, it, having heart. Uh, I feel like you, if you don't have heart, then you shouldn't be playing football, and, and that's one thing I got. So, um, big heads, I'm going to get up. You know, any type of head, I'm going to get back up at the end of the day. You know, and, and this is something I've been doing for a long time, and I'm just ready for whatever, so. And one last thing. I know a lot of times, man, when you real, real fast, that can be a positive, but it can also be a negative when you're playing receiving in the NFL. I know you talked about, you know, learning from Cooper and, uh, and Robert Woods being patient, you know, <laughs> being deliberate in your breaks and taking your time because you can be too fast in a receiver and get out of position. Just talk about – that adjustment that you, you, you're you trying to make, because I know you all, you just got out there with these guys, but just talk about that adjustment. Uh, just, you really got to watch and, and and see how they do it. Um, the first time I got there, um, I ran a route too fast and the coach was like, I was too fast. It's all about the uh, the reads. And if you did number three, you know, number three read, now you got time to work your defender. You get what I'm saying? Now, if, if you the last read, now you can do more, even more. So that's how I really learned and and pretty much got um got with everything. Good luck to you. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Tutu. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Nice talking to you.